Hey guys, it is me, Hypersonic, and welcome back to our free to play series in the last and survival. So, first things first, let's check out how much scrap metal we've gotten from recycling an entire stack of empty cans. And check this out, we have gotten a 38 scrap metal, and we've also gotten one aluminum bar. So that's pretty nice. And today I'm about to do something stupid, or maybe not really. Doesn't matter. I want to go to police department and clear a couple of waves in this free to play account. But check this out, we can talk to the healer, and it looks like we can get a 10% buff to our firearm. So let's get this buff. This video is brought to you by LD Player. If you're interested in playing Last on Earth Survival or many other mobile games on your computer, then consider checking out LD Player Emulator. It's lightweight and fast Android emulator for your PC where you can play mobile games with a mouse and keyboard. It supports multiple accounts simultaneously. So you can play Last on Earth Survival and other mobile games at the same time. You can download it from the official site and the link is available down in the description. And hey, check this out, the buff actually worked, so when we go here to temporary buff, it says seasoned meat effect, damage done by firearm increases by 10%, so hey, let's go down to that police department. And I've made a stop at Bunker Alpha, so I've gotten one extra gun, and I've also gotten this broken armor, so let's try to use this broken armor first. And today's goal is to open up three green crates, I don't really know if we'll get three green crates, I mean, everything's possible, I kinda doubt it though. But I mean, if I get at least one green crate, that will be great. And the reason why I even wanna open up those crates is because I have guns, and they're just gonna be sitting at the base. There's nothing I can do with them. There's no way I'm gonna be using guns at Bunker Alpha. Even though we might use that stuff to speed up the process of clearing that Bunker Alpha now. But yeah, we've cleared that Bunker Alpha last time, so I think this time it would be cool to go into a couple of waves in police department, as I don't think I've done more than three waves in this account, so let's try to go for at least ten waves. Not really certain if that's the smartest thing to do right now, but at the same time, we're gonna get some blueprints, even though, again, I'm not planning to craft any blueprints anytime soon, but I might as well just get them, so... Yeah, I think that might be worth it in the long run. Maybe yes, maybe no. Here, we've already gotten here one brown card. Come to my pocket. And I think we're gonna go and wall trick this hungry chomper. I'm still a peasant, I'm still wall tricking, and yet I'm gonna try to do 10 waves. And also, if you're new to Last on Earth and if you're still wondering how to get rich in the game, then still probably keep doing that bunker alpha is doing. Police department is not really gonna make you rich. Like, I should be actually doing right now bunker alpha as I still don't have my chopper. It would be much better to open up those red, orange, and green crates because I need to get the gas tank. I need to get some more engine parts. I also need to get more guns and whatever, but all of that stuff later. Today, we're doing the police department. Let's deal with that jailbird. I don't think I need to kill any of them. Wait, let's deal with this guy. I'm gonna open up the door. I'm gonna unlock this door because we've gotten these two cell keys last time. So here we go. Let's loot the bed. And under the first bed, we're gonna get some canned food and another piece of cloth. All right, let's drop that in the backpack. Anything else useful here? I have no idea. Okay, we've gotten duct tape and some more water. So the problem is that these guns that I have here, such as mini Uzis, they're not that great. Gun Glocks are gonna be nice, but mini Uzis aren't that great. Here, I'm gonna just try to see how they're gonna work out in those waves. I mean, somehow, some way we're damaging them, but these mini Uzis are gonna miss a lot. I mean, it doesn't really miss that, that a lot. Maybe it's, it, it kind of works. It kind of works, and that's all right, I guess. Let's deal with this hungry chomper. Again, I could probably wall trick him, but again, if we started using guns, <laughs> I might as well just use them. Because why not? You cannot stop me. Let's waste guns and our free-to-play account. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Never really thought that I'm gonna say that, but hey, here we are. So I'm gonna probably start with mini Uzis. I know the probably first wave can be done with a melee weapon or two, but again, we're gonna save like, what, half a durability gun? So that's not really big of a deal. Again, I'm aiming for about like 10 waves, but we'll see what's actually gonna happen. I've only taken one full armor with me and a bit of broken armor, so I don't really know how far I'll be able to go in this police department. But as I said, a couple of waves is gonna be better than nothing. They're attacking me. Just look at that. Just look at that. You gotta get damaged. There's no way you can outrun them. You gotta keep soaking up that damage from them. There's nothing you can do. Well, at least the Uzi works. I was scared that Uzi might not work, but Uzi works kind of wonder. So let's try to eat perhaps some beans to restore my health. And let's go for the third wave. And probably after this wave, I'm going to change the armor. Maybe here in the beginning, I'm going to spray my gun a bit more. I don't want it to start missing. Also, another tip and trick is that if you want to do police department, 
like more than maybe 10 waves or something, you absolutely have to have grenades and grenade launchers. Otherwise, you're just wasting your guns on the police department like me here right now. Chances are I'm just wasting them, but I don't have any grenades. I don't have any grenade launchers here because I'm a pretty low level. So you should be saving up this police department for once you get those grenades, grenade launchers, maybe once you're like level 100, once you get that burglar perk, then you'll be able to get enough grenades from the motel. But as of right now, it is what it is. Speaking of burglar perk, we've got a no burglar perk, but hey, I've gotten the bruiser perk. Now it's at max durability. Okay, so I'm gonna take this armor and just so that I don't have to delete it, I'm gonna drop this broken armor here in the storage. And some people have questioned me and yes, this storage resets. So be careful as this storage will reset after the police department resets. So don't leave anything valuable there. Okay, let's start attacking them little by little. Wish I had the sprinting skill. I can't even outrun them. All right, the zombie officer. Let's pop the zombie officer first. I wish all of these zombies were as slow as that uh, brawler. Oh no, my, my gun broke. Okay, I'm going to let him attack me. Here I can take back my M16. You know what? These guns aren't that bad. Maybe they're better than Glocks. They, they don't really miss that often. You need probably mods to do bunker alpha, but if you want to do police department with these unmodded guns, they're not that bad. You just do a couple of shots, you move, and it's going to be fine. Already another brown, and here we've gotten one more brown card. So in total, we have eight brown. Go on, go on. Let's go for one more wave. So far, it's going better than I expected. I think the bottom leg here is going to be the armor. All right, these explosive zombies are a bit problematic, though. Let's heal up a bit. Okay, and now I start to see the problems with M16s. Because if I'm going to shoot more, they'll start missing. All right, this M16 is going to break. Your M16 broke. I'm going to try to outrun this dude just so that I could get a Glock here. Let's deal with the brawler. And a very important thing that I forgot to mention is that you have to pick up cards every wave because if you're not going to do that, your cards will despawn because there's only a limited amount of dead bodies that can be on the map. So after you reach that limit, I have no idea what's the limit. Maybe 10 bodies, maybe 10, maybe 20. I have no idea. But after you reach the limit, the oldest bodies will start despawning in order to make room for the new bodies. So make sure to pick up the loot every wave or your cards will just disappear. I've gotten many comments from people saying that, hey, Sarek, I did not pick up any cards of 99 waves and I've gotten almost nothing. So pick up your loot every wave. Maybe you don't have to do this. Maybe you can pick up your loot every two waves, maybe every three waves, but why risk it? Just pick it up every wave and everything's gonna be fine. Alrighty, let's keep shooting them little by little. Okay, so this gun is a bit slower. Once you're gonna mod your Glock fully, it'll be a bit faster. You'll be able to shoot faster with it because I can see that it is a bit slower compared to our Glock from the main account. But you know what? It's not that bad. I still think Glocks are the best guns here. If I had to say what is the best gun in the game, I'd say easily Glock because you can spray it. You don't need any mods for it. It's not going to miss. So it's an awesome gun. Obviously, VSS is a great as well. VSSs don't miss. I could already hear some of you screaming, Sag VSS, VSS! Yeah, VSSs don't miss anything, but they are very rare to get, and you can get Glocks basically everywhere. That's why Glocks are so awesome. But yeah, VSS is better than a Glock. Obviously, it's stronger than a Glock. A lot of weapons are better than a Glock, but just because Glocks are so common, they do get my approval. Okay, so this gun is kind of broken. I could maybe bring it to the base and recycle it for whatever reason. Do I need to recycle them? Probably not, so I'll just break it fully to not waste any space. Let's heal up here a bit and uh, let's go for another wave. Then I'm going to take these other two Glocks. Let's go. Let's start it. Alrighty, the gun broke. Let's get this. Alrighty, let's heal up again. Once again, not extremely hard wave. I don't think there's even a single exploder here. And obviously be careful when there are those exploding zombies. If you get into the radius when they explode, you're going to die. So don't get into the explosion radius or you will regret that. You'll die instantly. Usually when you're trying to do 99 waves, try to get a reanimator. You get reanimators from the laboratory or you can also get them in the shop. But yeah, uh, reanimators are kind of useful once you're doing 99 waves because then if you're going to make a mistake, you're still going to stay alive. So yeah, I suggest using reanimators here if you're trying to do 99 waves. And for those curious, what's going to happen if you reach 99 waves? Why can't you go further? Because after you do 99 waves, the terminal gets stuck. It literally says you broke the terminal, you need to wait or something like that. So 99 waves is the maximum amount of waves that you can do here. And at 99 waves, you are gonna get a special police department pattern and that's it. So basically not super worth it, but hey. Okay, I'm gonna heal up here a bit. Then I'm gonna switch to another gun and I'm st I started running out of guns. I thought we can reach at least wave 20 with these guns, but apparently not. Apparently I was wrong. Okay, the Glock is broken. Um, I'll go a bit to the top. 
just so that they could attack me. I'll get the M16, whatever. I accidentally got the M16, wanted to get the Glock, but... I mean, M16 is gonna do the trick. So, if I'm gonna get one blue, I'll be kinda happy. I'll get some guns from that blue. But, I mean, I'm doing police department not to get guns. I'm doing police department just actually for the memes. You already know me. We like memes. As I said, if you wanna get rich, do police department. If you're not doing police department, you're doing something wrong. So, yes, I am doing something wrong right now. I am doing something wrong, but I have gathered these guns. I might as well use them. Also, this video exists here to prove that you can do other things. You can enjoy the game. You don't only have to do police department. You don't only have to do bunker alpha all the time. You can do other things as guns are quite easy to get if you do that bunker alpha with melee. So I'm going to use my guns on police department just to get some mods for the future. So everything will be cool. Or maybe I'll get nothing useful. Maybe we'll just get zip gun mods. In any case, someone has to get those zip gun mods. If I'm gonna get a zip gun mod, I'm not even gonna activate it. I'll bring it to the specialist at Bunker Alpha because in the beginning of the game, you can exchange blueprints uh, with the specialist because after you get all the blueprints, specialist is not gonna give you anything nice. But here we are, beginners. I don't have any blueprints, so I'd like to get like whatever common blueprints from the specialist. So if I'm gonna get a garbage blueprint that I'll, I know that I'm never gonna assemble, then I'll exchange that blueprint at the specialist at Bunker Alpha. So maybe that's what we're even gonna do today if I get a blue blueprint. If I get a blue blueprint, that's the keyword. That is the keyword. Already another explosive zombie is gonna explode. So yeah, I expected we can go further. I really thought we can go for 20 waves. I still have a couple of guns in the inbox and I still have some guns at the base and even some guns at Bunker Alpha. So it sounds like we are out of weapons. I just really thought that the amount of guns I took here are gonna last us a bit longer. But they're, they're just melting. I can feel these guns melt. These guns are just disappearing. I might have, it feels like I'm deleting them. All right, Hungry Chomper is dead. Let's deal with the brawler. And this gun is about to break, so soon I'm gonna switch to a different one. Here go, Brawler is dead. Let's break this M16 and let's take a Glock. Yeah, probably that's gonna be good enough. And I think still with this Glock and with that AK, we can do two extra waves. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I'll get at least one green or two green, maybe. Blue card! That's Pog! That's nice! We've gotten the blue card, that is great. We're gonna get two guns. And plus, we're gonna get an armor here, which... Hey, I've gotten lucky to get a blue card on wave 9. Sometimes you can get a blue card, obviously, earlier. But sometimes you're not gonna get a blue card up to, like, wave 30. So I'm gonna say that I got kind of lucky here. Some people get blue cards earlier. I know. I know that because I've already heard some of you screaming that, Hey, Sayak, I've gotten three blue cards on wave 10. Hey, cool. But that's not what always happens. Most of the time, you're gonna get a blue card on, like, maybe wave 10, maybe wave 15 or something. Sometimes you're not even gonna get it. So I'm happy that I've gotten it. Now I want to get some green... Or more blue. I'm not gonna say no to blue cards. I'm not gonna say no to these blue cards. All right, let's deal with the brawler with another hungry chomper. And it wasn't that bad. I thought I'll use more healing items. Apparently, I've used almost none of the healing items, so that's cool. Another brown, another brown, which is cool and all, but at least some green. So I, currently, I can open up one green, one blue, and uh, one brown. So I'd love to get at least five more brown. Let's go for one more wave. Then I'm gonna get that AK. So let's start one more wave. Also be careful to not click the surrender because there's no pop-up confirmation dialogue that says yes or no. If you're gonna click surrender, you're gonna exit the police department here and you'll have to start from the beginning. But to restart this police department thing, you either have to wait for until your police department resets or you can use an electronic circuit. So yeah, all I'm trying to say here, don't click surrender. I've accidentally clicked surrender. I've heard people accidentally clicking surrender, so I, it is definitely possible to accidentally click surrender. Let's get this. Don't get stuck, down it, move, move. And my armor is breaking, and my armor is breaking. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of damage here. The AK is kind of nice. Maybe I should have saved it for something else, but I don't even know where I can save this AK. I'm just gonna use it and that's it. No one can stop me. AK is pretty nice, even in modded AK is all right. I mean, obviously you can't spam it, but for police department, I think it works great. All right, another brown, brown, and brown. Not a single green, that's sad. So the only cards that you can get here are brown, green, and blue cards. You cannot get purple cards here. And uh, yeah, I think I can go a bit further for the wave number 12. Let's go. All right, some of these zombies are gonna explode real soon. All right, one explosive zombie almost done, so. Soon we'll deal with one more explosive zombie and my armor is gonna break. I'd love to do a few more waves until I get enough of those green cards. So maybe I am gonna take another gun from the inbox. Maybe, maybe. I've just taken a lot of guns. 
so I thought that that's gonna be enough. It was already painful to take this amount of weapons, but I, apparently we needed even more. Alrighty, right, zombies dead. I still have probably enough armor for one more wave. Brown and another green. Nice, 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 nice. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely nice. On wave 12, we have gotten a green card, so I can open up two green cards easily and a blue card. Do I go for one more wave? Maybe let's get a gun from the inbox, or maybe I should save it. I have one more AK in the inbox here. Um, Let's get an M16. I'm gonna get that M16 after this gun breaks. I'll switch to whatever else. I'm also gonna get these first aid kits now. Uh, bandages, and let's go. This is gonna be our last wave. Our last wave, I'm kinda gambling here. Maybe I'll get nothing, or maybe I'll get something useful. Mayhaps. Alrighty, plus this is an easy wave as no one's chasing us. So I'm not gonna get any damage. Maybe, maybe that means we can go for one more wave. <laughs> because the only thing that's stopping me right now, obviously gun, but mostly the armor. Even though, again, you don't even need the armor. You just need the shoes so that you run faster, but... Hey, I don't even have the shoes. Let's get that M16, and let's deal with one more Riot Zombie. Go, and if I'm gonna get one more blue card, I'll be very, very happy. I'll be very, very happy. All right, this M16 started missing a lot, so I gotta wait. I gotta wait now. So the longer you wait, the less your M16 will miss. You just have to reset, like, that missing bar or whatever. Here, that's done. Brown, brown. Another green! That's beautiful! That's it. That was a nice wave. You know what? We've gotten a green card. I think that's dope. So yeah, I'm gonna open up two green cards, plus I'll have 22 brown cards, so I'll be able to exchange these 22 brown for two green, I guess. That's that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's good enough. So yeah, probably we're gonna stop it now, or I should go for one more wave. One more wave, ladies and gentlemen. One more wave. I just have to do it. I just feel like I have to do it. Or maybe this gun isn't gonna be enough. It should be enough. It better be enough. It better be enough! Move! Sometimes your character is gonna get stuck and sometimes you won't be able to move. It happens for me quite often. All right, let's deal with this explosive zombie. -zom. All right, so I'm just moving forward and I just want to deal with this explosive zombie first. So that this way I'll be able to open up maybe my inbox and get one more gun for these brawlers because they are a bit slower. All right, let's try to slow down the hungry chomper. Let's try to kill the brawler. And maybe I'm not gonna have enough guns. Yeah, probably I won't have enough guns to deal with this riot zombie. Well, unless... Unless, unless everything's gonna be alright. Maybe I'll even be able to kill him with my melee weapons. I know my gun's gonna break and it, the dude has only 20 health. Let's try to get a machete. Alright, the dude's probably gonna pick up the shield. No! Nice, nice! We were able to clear the last wave. That's it. Another green. That was beautiful. That was worth it, in my opinion. In my book, that was worth it. Another green and another blue super worth it. That's when you gotta pull the plug. On wave 14, if you get two blue cards, that's lucky. Like, technically you should be getting the second blue on wave 20 or something. I'm lucky. I am surrendering and check this out. I'm gonna do what I call a big brain move. There's this guy following me right now and I don't really wanna fight him. I don't wanna fight any of them. To be honest, so I'm just gonna leave this place. I'll re-aggro them and then I'm gonna come back here and we will open up the crates. Okay, so hello, hello, Raider. I think we're gonna exchange maybe at least one green card. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna exchange 10 brown for one green and that's it. I'm gonna still save those 13 brown cards maybe for future brown card openings. If, let's say, I don't feel like clearing police department, I'll still be able to at least open up brown cards without doing anything because getting green cards requires you to fight zombies. So you know what? I am gonna save up these 13 brown for later. And also just quickly, which cards you should exchange, which cards you shouldn't exchange. Do not exchange, especially in the beginning of the game. Do not exchange your green cards for blue cards as it's completely 100% not worth it. Open up your green cards. Like probably green cards are the best cards here in the game as you do get a lot of them and you do get good stuff from those green cards. So be careful, don't exchange them for blue. The only time when you should be exchanging them for blue cards is let's say if you have over 50 or over 100 green cards. But if you don't have that amount of green cards, probably save them. And if you know what you're doing, then you can do what you want. But hey, if you're searching for tips and tricks, I'm suggesting you to not exchange your green for blue. And same thing goes with purple cards. Do not exchange your 10 blue cards for one purple card. It's not really worth it unless, again, you're gonna have like over maybe 50 blue or you know what you're doing. Then hey, you can exchange that stuff. But all that stuff doesn't matter. We're gonna open up two blue cards. We're also gonna open up one green card. Ladies and gentlemen, check this out on our free-to-play account. We're gonna open up these crates, even though I used lots of guns. So probably these crates were not worth it, but who cares? Let's open up this. Let's open up the weapon crate. Please, please, something useful. Please, please, pretty please. A gun? That'd be nice. We've gotten a skull crush. Not what I needed. Red dot sight. Let's learn this mod. 
I'm not really certain if it's great or bad mod. I don't remember all the mods by heart. But I've made two videos about the mods in Last Earth Survival, so make sure to check these videos out. Just go on YouTube, type LDE Sayak Mods, or these two videos are gonna be linked in the comments down below. There I explain all the mods in the game. I'm showing the best purple mods, I'm showing the best common mods, etc, etc. But hey, doesn't matter. Let's open up one more blue card, and here we've gotten a Glock and an Uzi, plus we've gotten an entire tactical set, which is kind of cool. And here we're gonna get an M16 and an AK, so great crate open. Opening. Sadly, I did not get a gun from that green crate, but at least I did not get any Winchesters and that's a W in my book So that's another reason why I hate Winchesters and I wish they were removed from the game because Winchesters are just terrible They just take up space in the loot pool. Oh, and I completely forgot that we need to read these blue blueprints So improved silencer for the Uzi. Do I really need it? I don't think I'll ever use it and also we've got an aperture sight for the shotgun I'll read that. You know what? I'm gonna read it. Doesn't matter. I read the blueprint as well. Boom. And obviously, let's not forget about the good old airdrops. So let's open up our airdrop. And inside of this airdrop, we're gonna get a saw blade mace. We're gonna get some iron. We'll get some other miscellaneous items together with this engine part. And we've also gotten this double muzzle brake for the AK. I mean, hey, let's learn that. So I highly suggest you check it out my brand new God of War Let's Blur. Click on the second card and you'll go to my State of Decay 2 Let's Blur. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.